Okay, so now that we have set up our project, we can actually start setting up the throw animation. And to set it up, we will have to create it first. So let's go to the uh, sprites folder here. And in here, we'll have to go to the character and find the throw animation. Um, and as you can see, we have a jump throw here. That's not the one we are interested in. We are interested in the normal throw first, because we will also implement the jump throw, but Let's just add the normal throw first, and then we can add the jump throw after. So we select all of the throw animations, as we usually do. And then we pull them into the scene, so that it creates a new sprite. And we delete the sprite in the scene. And then we have the throw animation and the throw um, controller. And as usual, we don't need the controller, because we already have a controller that the player is uh, using. So just delete the controller and take the throw and move it to the animation uh, folder here. In here, we'll have to rename the throw to throw. So it doesn't have that underscore zero. And when we have done that, we can actually add it to our player's controller. So select your player in um, your hierarchy, select your animator and open up the ground layer. If you can't see the layers, then we need to click on the layers button here. When you have clicked on the ground layer, uh, you should take the throw animation and pull it in here. And then we need to define where we can throw from. So we shouldn't be able to throw when we're sliding, but when we're running and when we are idling, we should be able to throw. So click on run, make transition and click on throw and click on idle and make transition and click on throw as well. So now we have set up the um, transitions from to throw and we need to be able to transition back from throw to idle not back to run because we will transition from idle to run if that's the case because when we're throwing the knife the character will stop anyway so we don't need to go back to run in any case so click on throw make transition and click on idle as well so now we need to set up a parameter because as if you remember we always use a parameter to trigger these different um, uh, different animations so we need to create a parameter for triggering uh, our throw so you can click on the plus here and click trigger and call this one run throw so now we have to set up the throw and the throw should be used when we go from idle to throw so you have to select the line or the arrow between idle and throw and click on the little plus here and on the list under conditions, we will have to select the new throw parameter. Same goes for run. Uh, but before you go to run, just remember to remove has exit time, remove fixed duration and put the trans transition duration to zero. Same goes for run, click on it, add the parameter. And when you've done that, remove has exit time and fixed duration. There we go. Uh, exit time is totally fine to have from throw to idle, so we're not going to do anything about that uh, transition here. Okay, so now we can go from idle to throw, but we will also need to trigger this somewhere. So let's try to go to our um, scripts and in our player. And in here, we'll have to add a trigger or we would have to trigger the trigger for throwing. And we can do that inside our handle input function. And down here underneath our lift control, we make a new one, say if input dot get key uh, down. And then we tell it it should use key code dot uh, we, I guess that that's what I'm going to throw on. You can always switch this to somewhere, something else. Uh, but for me, I guess the V button is, is totally fine. It's easy to click when you're moving and everything. So then you say my animator dot set trigger, and then you put the throw up. So remember to write this the exact same way as you just wrote. 
out here when you've created the parameter throw. If you don't do that, well, then it's not going to trigger. Then we will need to add something to the throw behavior here, or the throw animation, uh, and we will have to add the throw behavior to it. So click on throw, add behavior, and select the attack behavior. Not throw behavior, attack behavior, of course. Because it's going to do the same thing as the attack, so there's no point in making a throw behavior and writing the exact same thing in there. Besides this, we'll have to go into the attack behavior, and down here in the on state axis, we'll have to override our um, or not all right we have to reset our trigger our throw trigger so write animator dot reset trigger throw so now we are resetting the throw trigger um, yes let's see let's try to run this and see what happens so if we run the game now and remember to save your script else it's not gonna work so we can run around and if I press the V button then he plays the throw animation and you can see i'm stopping i'm stop i'll stop running when i do this and there we have it so now we have the normal throw animation but right now when i'm jumping i'm not able to uh, throw any knives or anything only if i'm doing it in the air and then i'm landing right away it, it plays the rest of the throw animation you can see here but we would like to be able to throw a knife while in the air so let's go to our sprites and select the character and let's find our throw jump throw that is and let's jump attack here jump throw starts here and it ends all the way down here so we'll have to make a animation out of this so do the exact same way if we just did before drag it into the scene delete the one in the scene delete the controller and take this one and move into animations and where is it there rename it to jump throw so we will have to go to our player now select the animator and go to layers and select air layer and in here we'll have to add another um, animation so that we can also go to our throw so take the jump throw and pull it in here make a transition from landing to jump throw a transition from jump throw back to landing and a transition from takeoff to jump throw and you can move this one out of the way if, it, if it's in the way um yeah from takeoff to jump throw click on it the line or the arrow between these two and put up a condition called throw and remove has exit time remove the tick fix duration and set this one to zero and from jump throw to landing we will keep the exit time everything's fine um, but from landing to jump throw remove exit time and set up a condition called throw there we go okay so if we play the game now let's see what happens we can jump and we can play the jump throw animation as you can see here and if we play it when we are almost landing it just switches to the landing and the normal throw animation so now we can actually throw a knife while we are jumping as you can see here okay so um i think i'm going to wrap up this video here um it's getting close to 10 minutes so in the next video we are going to add the throwing knife so that we can spawn the knife and throw it through the air um, and later we can look at how we can kill our enemies so thank you very much for watching this video remember to follow me on twitter like my facebook page and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it already and again remember that inscope studios is a community founded page so if you want to support me and you like my tutorials then please do so you can do this by either going to the Patreon page um, and supporting me there. And if you support me there, remember you'll get some different perks. You can get private tutoring or you can also uh, download every single project that I, I upload or every single project I make for every all of my tutorials here. If you don't want to spend that much and support me on Patreon, uh, you can also just buy this project uh, from the link on the screen right here. Um, then you will get this simple project and you will of course get all the updates for the project as it goes along. Um, yes, so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next part.